dead. Hey, Christ, Charlie's dead. How do you feel? I mean, about the jump. About as good as anyone can feel about that sort of thing. I mean, you don't look like you feel too good. Well, what am I supposed to do? Have 150,000 people turned away? Have someone tell him, Mr. Knievel isn't quite up to jumping all these cars today. Maybe you can come back tomorrow and see him get smashed all the hell. But people are told someone's going to get smashed all the hell. They want to see it right then. Doesn't matter how you feel. You're just a participant, a splattery. I feel great. All right. I believe it if you do. I feel great. No, I feel great. I have to, whether you feel good or bad. Nothing in hell would get done if you just waited around until you felt just right. Ever got the dressings? Yeah. Oh, you better have Dr. Kincaid look at this. He's not going to like it. But he says you can't jump. Shut the door for Christ's sake. It's shut. Are you all right? Five seconds. All it took Charlie Crescent to get himself killed. Can you believe that? Five seconds. Five seconds. That's all there was to it. And there was laughing at him, and jeering, yelling out all kinds of stuff. In the thing. You all right? So the one for Christ's sake, he's dead. Just don't figure. Get him out of here. Would have happened sooner or later. More likely sooner than later. How, prou how proud and happy I am to be here today. It is an honor to, uh, to know so many nice folks came all the way out here to, well, to see me jump just two trucks. I, I mean, I know what you got to do nowadays, and kids and everything at home, it takes a lot of time away, and, well, it means something special for all you people to come out here, and I want to thank you for that. And I want to tell you that Motorcycle riding's getting itself a bad name these days, a real bad name. And, uh, well, you just take a look around at some of those weirdos riding all those fancy motorcycles, and you know the reason for that. I just, uh, just also want to tell you that some of those guys ride around and scaring the uh, heck out of everybody who gets in the way. I'm very proud, and I want to thank you and uh, uh, thank everybody for coming.
you ready, boy? You ready? Don't you know it? Did you hear them when they thought I wasn't going to make it? They thought I was going to get myself killed. So they did, too. However, they loved it. They loved it. That's 50 on me. You sick me, boy? You're going to be rich and powerful. Just one by 50. I'm telling you, you're going to have 100 bucks in your pocket. They really like it. Especially when they thought I wasn't going to make it. I could hear them. I'm going to raise you a little. You just raised me, my Oh, a deal's a deal. Opportunity to go and should be seen. You're going to be sorry, boy. You're the one's going to be sorry. Don't you know it? Anybody? I think you did have somebody, but I don't know where the hell she is. I wonder if I could ask you to... Ain't none of your business. I'm just trying to be helpful. We'll be helpful somewhere else. Now, this is some early national news coverage of me when I started my career... Uh, High-speed motorcycle racing, you earn a living. That's me there, that one right there. with this thing and I'm being paralyzed with pain and can't defend myself. You see what I mean? 